a race of giants, supposedly like from the First Testament, and they were wiped, they were wiped out during the flood, and there was a few survivors, so no one really knew anything about them. I mean, a lot of people ask us this, no one knows a lot about them. You have to look in a biblical dictionary to like for the references and that. But uh, we took the name on purely because like they was like mysterious people, and no one knows what happened to them. And, uh, that was the reason, really, and we used fields as in, like, uh, magnetic fields, the drawing in towards Nephilim, rather than the big green sort of pastures. fields. Pastures. Pastures. Oh, pastures. <laughs> pastures. Well, I'm glad that they cleared that one up for us. Well, apart from having an ambiguous name, the fields of Nephilim hail from Stevenage, England, and over the past five years, they've established themselves as one of the top gothic bands around. The current album, Dawn Razor, topped the 1987 independent chart, the British magazine Melody Maker. And surprisingly, it's also their debut album. It took the Combat Cowboys four years to lasso a record contract. And even then, they were in no hurry to sign a major deal. If we'd gone on to a major record company straight away, like in England, we would have been swallowed up totally. I mean, we would have been just a little tiny unit in amongst this great big system, you know, and we, we would have been nothing. I mean, it would have probably done us more harm than good. We probably had all the hype, the single, all the push, and that would have been it. It's not the way that we've, we're, what we're about. I mean, everything's been natural, like, uh, just a natural development over the years, and we've, like, we've got as big as we have in England, purely because, like, we've uh, built up a good live reputation, like, you know. Well, the fields of the Nephilim have been trying to build a good live reputation in here in the States, too. They've just wrapped up a 17-day tour, and right now they're home writing songs for their second album. Here's the current video from the Fields of the Nephilim. It's called Blue Water.
madness multiplies.